Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It's good to see everyone. Travis, good to see you, good afternoon. So, we are going to do our best today to help you with the tools, the indicator for day trading. This is the part two of our event. We did over an hour event about two weeks ago on swing trading, long-term investing. That event is available now into your Power Indicator YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget those events sometimes takes two weeks, three weeks before we put them there. So you really want to come to the live event here. You don't want to wait two weeks, three weeks for us to put stuff. You know, it's like the same way we do the cuts on the Day Trading Zones channel about the Wealth Wednesday session. So you go to Power Indicators right there, right? And you can see the first event right there, step by step with all the settings. We give you the settings. We have a document, by the way, that we still need to send you by email about the settings on long term investing and swing trading. We use the example of the $300,000 account, quarter million dollar account, retirement accounts, plus the uh, crypto accounts for swing trading and long term investing last time. We are going to look at some uh, example. You can see some example of real money trades, by the way, here, 2X case study. You can go here, 250K case studies. And you most importantly can go here, which is our original YouTube channel from our research and analysis company that we started in 2010, 14 years ago, Day Trading Zones where we have done tool research and analysis since 2010, did tools on the eSignal and the Ninja platform. And if you scroll back, you can look at, you see there was a 10K case study on SPY. You can look at some real money case study, you know. It's not a promise of making money. Trading is very dangerous, you know, especially day trading. This is where I only allocate less than 5% of my entire net worth into day trading, uh, day trading SPY, specialized in SPY options, uh, SPX credit spread for income, right? When I day trade. And sometimes I do some tech like NVIDIA, SMCI, because like maybe one contract, two contracts, because there's a lot of volatility. But most of my net worth is in long-term investing for income, assets for income with tax efficiency and asset protections. You can look video after video after video since uh, 2000 and whatever, 14, 15, 10. On this, um, I had made video on the similarities of 2019, 2029 versus 1929, which I had done five years ago. And you can see also some video on how to go small accounts, uh, trading a 12K profit, like, like keep on going. And there's a lot of real, case study money here. There's one for $22,000 trading the SPX and keep on going on the day trading zone. So you really want to be on both channel, the day trading zones, YouTube channel and the power indicator YouTube channel. That being said, in addition to that, for now, you can join our Discord, but we are going to move away from our Discord group and bring everybody to another community group that we use for our wealth um, funding academy where I help entrepreneurs getting funding and help entrepreneurs with asset protection and tax efficiency. Because at the end of the day, I started trading when I was 22, I'm 52, but I'm also an entrepreneur. You know, I have companies, I have partnership in companies and uh, Power Indicators is one of our companies, which is a software company to help you guys make better decisions with tools that are unique in the world, that are patented. There is trademarks and copyright. We have an attorney on staff, Steve, you know, Steve Stewart. Uh, Steven is a great guy. I've known Steven for 20 years. So let me refresh everybody, okay? This is the tool at a basic view that we looked at last week. You have the long-term probability calculator, right? Rule of third. You can make any divisions and we'll talk about those divisions. One third, one third, one third, meaning that if I buy towards the bottom, I have a 66 to a 100% chance of success of making money. It's all about probability. So I'm looking at this edge right there, the 100%, and I'm looking at this edge from the other calculator, 
And this is a really great buy usually. Buy on blue, sell on purple, or reduce sizes on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple. By the way, if it's your first time coming here, we have a light version with limited functionality that you can get from this indicator if you text us at 954-758-8145 and we'll tell you if you're in the US, how to get it. If you're not in the US, send us an email and we'll try to figure, US and Canada, we'll try to figure how to help you. Now, it's all about probability. It's like visually, do I have a high probability of a buy here? Like I bought Convez, I showed you on my retirement account at 65, 75, and Convez was in the 250, 260 for the past 10 days, right? So that has been a fantastic triple on my money from blue to purple, blue to purple, blue to purple, right? Then of course we have the power trend box here to tell us if the long-term trend you know, is up or down and it's being derived by institutional net seller, major net buyer, minor net seller, boom, equal or down here. Same here for short-term day trader, yeah, no, this is one is the long term, sorry. Net seller, net seller, net seller. So when this one is down, this one is down, we're looking for shorts, of course, at every resistance. When this one is down and this one is up, the long term, we are looking to buy on pullback. So it helps you to not be counter trend to the net buyer, net seller pressure, which are net seller, net, uh, net seller, and net buyer volume from institutional major minor blocks that we calculate with our intellectual property. On the left side, we will have our three-in-one scanner. There is one for day trading. You can pull the data for swing trading, long-term investing. And that gives me the trade idea. So I start here, number one, scanner. Number two, I look at the chart. Number three, I trade. You know, I buy, sell, or do nothing. For instance, what would be a case where you do nothing? Well, if you are right there, smack in the middle of the probability 50-50, that's a no-go zone for me. So no-go zone, or let's say this is SPX because I do sell income on SPX and ES options. I have equal distance from here to here. So I call that a delta, neut delta neutral play, which means I know I don't have a great edge to the market at that point. So I have two outcomes. Outcome number one, I don't trade, nothing, no trade. It's a no-go. And by the way, it is very precious in this business to know when not to trade. Because when not to trade is as precious as when to trade. Because it's like playing poker. You know, you're around the table and you are being dealt. There's poker players here. And if you have a crappy end, which is a 50-50, you don't want to ante up or play the, the play. And if you want to play the play, you want to play the play very cautiously. So that tells you at 50% of the probability calculator on the right or the left, because they, do, they go together as complementary two calculators visually, right? That tells you no trade. That tells you either delta neutral, out of the money, income play, like credit spread, deep out of the money credit spread, or iron condor. You sell a call credit spread here, you sell a put credit spread here, and it's very neutral, okay? And this is very, very, very important because either you do nothing or you sell a zero delta and collect income. You know, it's going to go up here, go back here, go back here, go back here. You don't, it's going to zigzag. You don't have an edge. I like to buy puts or short the market here. I like to buy the market and long stocks here. That's it. This is where I know I have the highest probability of success. It's like standard deviations in probability. Look, here I have 100% to 66% because I am in the first firm, 33%. 50% line, 66%, 100%. So you have, you know, the highest probability play, guys, to short here and to buy here. This is why they invest table, right? 
And we we have two two ways of giving you the probabilities, by the way. Okay, probability number one, real time probabilities, fifty three forty seven. Right. Number two, you can go into your gear. So let's go to the charts here. Let me pull the charts. You go, you pull the gear, you go to the power calculator. And if the real time probability screws you up mentally, all you have to go is you go change that from box percentage to division percentage and boom. And here it's going to show you the probability without the probability going up and down in real time. But at least visually, you know, wow, okay. And it goes like this. Look. This is the sell side, this is the buy side. If you're on the buy side, here you have 100 to 66% chance of buying. Buy on blue, 66%, 100% chance. Sell on purple, 100%, 66% chance that they are going to pull back and region. That's it. And then you have your 50% line, which tells you no edge. No edge, maybe iron condo, if you day trade, you know, Pull credit spread here, put credit spread here, collect income here. And we expect that the elastic is going to go from here to here, and you should be fine. Especially the way I, I construct the iron condo. And of course, you can come in our live room when, when we will have the live room open for power indicator users for, we'll give you a trial of two weeks or whatever it is, right? And you can see us trading in action real money right you can see right that i like to create buffer zones so if i know it's 100 percent here 100 percent here i probably will do the call credit spread somewhere here same here if i know the edge is here the edge is here i'll do the call credit spread right smack in the middle on the put credit spread so that gives me a little bit of a safety of margin to the edge here and a little bit of safety of margin of course i need to collect enough income you know, if you go at a two delta or you got a five delta, you might not have enough income to collect. But usually SPX is very generous, people. You know, very generous. And um, and you will be able to collect generous uh, premium uh, on SPX. Sami and everybody, I will answer your questions when I'm done. I There's a lot I want to go through and then we'll look at questions. Good. So keep your questions, put them on a Word doc and then I'll knock out all the questions that you guys have, okay? So let's progress in the discussion, okay? With a little bit of structure. Number one, you know, I'm a real human being. You know, I've been around as a trader, as a former funded trader account. <laughs> when I was 22 years old, I worked for a company called JP Capital and uh, end over trading. I had my Series 7 in the days, 63.55s, right? And I worked there for about five years, okay? I worked there. I, I, I learned a lot about the business, right? And I started when I was 22 years old. But you can see, like, I'm the young, old dude here. And this is our family. We have four boys. We have one boy missing, our daughter and my wife, uh, Nicole, right? And so trading and investing is what I've done all my life. Being an entrepreneur is what I've done also all my life as well, right? And I have a, a big passion in the market and helping traders, you know, but, um, you know, sometimes time time is, is, is uh, of the essence in terms of, of being able to provide more content. That's why your likes, comments, and appreciation on our content is appreciated for us to give you more, you know, I don't mind giving more, but I like to see that people are tuned to the stuff that we do, right? Um, so trading is not easy, you know, that, that people are going to make it, you know, you can double, you can triple, you can see those ads, 70% win ratio, 80% win ratio. Look, it doesn't matter the win ratio. The tools are very, very powerful and they are very accurate. But the only thing is seeing is believing. You have to try them. You have to play with them for 90 days. You have to master the tools, you know? Obviously, I mastered the tools because the requirements, I gave the requirements over the years, trading millions of dollars with real money, you know? I trade cryptos, I trade everything, you know what I mean? 
I mean, when you look at the end of the day, I, I, I just trade everything, right? So you got, you got to understand that trading is very hard and, and I don't want to sugarcoat it like other people, right? But the tools are going to help you solve the questions that are very important. Number one, they are going to help you. Should I trade or should I not trade? Do I have a probability of success, a three to one ratio or more to place a trade before I do an emotional decision? It's going to help you also staying put, as I showed you, 50-50% chance. It's going to help you also keeping runner, like maybe you get out at 60% of your size, keep 30% of your size, you know? It's going to help you with indecisions. You are going to be more confident as you trade them, you use the replay function from TradingView. Oh, wow, look what it did on blue. Look what it did on, on red. Wow, from blue to red. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, reduce on purple, even if the power trend box is still showing up, right? It's going to help you recognize trends quickly. It will help you construct alerts so you don't have to be glued in front of your computer. I don't stay glued to my computer. So I'll show you an example. Here's an example. I enter PayPal, PYPL, between 57 and 6029, I think. We'll have to see. So PayPal. PayPal has done nothing, 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 nothing during that entire bull run. As a matter of fact, if you look at the power trend box, we went from down, down to sideways, sideways. But I'm not a very complicated guy. Go to the scanner and I'm like, where is there an opportunity to allocate money for a good swing trading? PayPal. Oh, okay. So I look at Riot. So I passed on Riot because there's the halving and then I could be caught uh, losing a lot of money because I don't know how the miners are going to react on the halving. So I go next to the list. And by the way, just reminding you, I double click here. It's a three-in-one scanner, right? Look, I can pull a long-term investing list, a swing trading list, a day trading list, and I can look and pull all the pullback periods. So like, for instance, if I do all time for long-term investing, it's going to change. Look, now PayPal is still number two, but look, I have even AT&T coming on number four. Why? Because if you look at at and here, now I have 30 years of data into the, uh, let's put a monthly. I have 30 years of data to look at since 1984. So now the calculator can make intelligent decision for me on at and uh, What is the power trend box telling me? It's telling Mark. For now, temporary, we are down on at and but all every pullback should be bought. So not fighting the tools, buy on blue, sell on purple. It time it came between 12 and uh, 16 area, I bought. And if you look on my video, you'll know and you'll see that all my cost bases are in this area on at and and I have the same structure on Verizon. So buy on blue, sell on purple. That's it, that's simple, right? So. Let's go back on PayPal, and then we'll attack day trading. I remember day trading is very vast because is it day trading, zero DTA options, call and put? Is it ES and Q? Is it selling income? I do all of it. Depend on the day, depend on what the tools and 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 the charts are, are, are showing you that day. So here I go on PayPal. I'm going to show you one that I have accumulated. I'm almost at over 100 shares. 100 shares of PayPal doesn't look much, but it's $6,000 deployed, you know? So it's not nothing, still $6,000. Don't know about you, but $6,000 is nice. I can go on vacation again. So here, buy on blue, sell on purple, here's my PayPal, right? So 
this thing keeps on showing up and bothering me. So look here, let's take the replay now. Because I told you replay function is key. You go here and you're like, okay, what was the probability when it was towards that 58? Let's look at the long-term calculator like this. And now we are going to go back to the real calculator division. Instead of doing divisions, we are going to do percentage box. I had an 86% chance, 86% chance to lose on paper. So when I took PayPal around 55, 60, I'm like, okay, what is my stop loss? 51. So I, 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 I might forego seven points. If I'm super, super wrong is here, so it might go to 30. But I'm like, okay, 49. So I'm risking 10. What's the resistance as 107? I'm risking 10 to make 42 points. Okay, so 10, because I want you to see that logic. It's the same logic that we are going to look when we look at the day trading stuff. I am here, 86% chance of success. The short term starts stabilizing with a downtrend. I am on blue, so I want to buy on blue. I'm close to the 100% at 86%. And I'm, done, I'm starting to enter the long on paper. Right? Nobody wanted PayPal. It has been shit, excuse my French, the entire year that everything has been going up. And now you buy PayPal here and boom, you play the replay and you see how it goes. Yeah, it went and boom. And so it's all about probability because when you know the probabilities on your side, all you have to do is you wait. Now it's 66. So I'm up 10 points. So I risk 10, I'm already up 10. Possibly I'll be at 100 plus at one point. I know I might have to wait three years, five years. I know that, I'm not an idiot, I know that, right? But that's that's the type of risk ratio that I like. And I want to show you how you as well have to think the same when you do day trading. You cannot take a day trade that is less than three to one ratio, I repeat. If you take a trade, and I will prove it to you, that is less than three to one, eh, you are setting up yourself to be a bad trader. I don't trade. If I don't see three to one space in the tool, I don't trade. I don't even touch it, right? And you really want to consider the tools because you have nothing to lose for the next 30 days. You know, it's money back guarantee. And plus we have a special going on, you know, for new, people in our ecosystem that have never tried our tool that we don't know, you have a unique opportunity until the end of March. Now, when you look at day trading, it's going to be the same, but there's a lot more elements. This is a lot more relaxed, by the way. If you have a job, if you are busy, or if you're an entrepreneur, I recommend you don't even day trade. Are we clear? Is everybody clear in this room? If you are an entrepreneur, if you are a W-2 employee and you are a busy person, I recommend absolutely no day trading for you. I recommend you master this setting from long-term and short-term investing. You go back to the YouTube channel, you subscribe to the day trading zones, you read, you watch everything that you can on day trading zones because we do the cut from the power indicator Wealth Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. And you get in gear to master that, nothing else. Less is more in life. Remember Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee says what? I fear the man who has practiced one kick a thousand times that the man who knows a thousand kick that has practiced his kick only once. You know, it's all about mastery of what you do, guys. Come here in the power indicator and watch this video, this one. The latest one we did, Master Power Indicator for Swing Trading Long Term, 20 times. The same way you are going to watch 20 times today's video. So let's get going. Now we are going to, for the courageous one, the people who are still around, if you are still around for day trading cryptos, which I do not day trade cryptos, by the way, or day trading, let's get going. This is now for you. You can read all my biography stuff when you want. This is not the important stuff. 
So I want to repeat and put the basis again. 90% of day traders lose money. As a matter of fact, when I talk to broker over the years, probably more. So you have to ponder, like nobody, nobody in this business is going to tell you what I'm telling you today because everybody is going to say, hey, let's degen. Oh, let's come to my uh, indicators. And I did this and I did that. Look, I'm very systematic in what I do. I love to make money and I hate to lose money, but I'm very conscientious of the game. 90% of the day trader plus lose money. So make sure that you pound and consider if you are going to do this business. Because I'll tell you something. If I had to redo it again and someone would have said, Mark, you have nine chances out of 10 that you are going to lose all your money in this business, I would not do this business. If someone says, hey, buy a dry cleaner, a laundromat, and you have nine chances out of 10 to make money, if I was smart, I'd go for the laundromat. But everybody wants to click and clack from their house. If you want to click and clack from your house, and be an independent, successful trader, it's going to require three ingredients. Number one ingredient is going to be control your mindset. I can give you the best tool of the world. If you put all your money into one trade and you don't know to stop trading, you get in, you get out, you get in, you get out, you get in, you get out. And you promise yourself you were not going to do more than three or six round trip for the day you have a gambling problem. And it doesn't mean you are a bad person. And it does not mean, okay? It does not mean you are a bad person, number one. And it does not mean that you cannot be successful at something else in life. Do you see how I'm talking to you guys? I'm talking to you like a friend, like a father to a son. And no one on the internet is going to fucking do that to you. Nobody. And I have indicators that are very powerful for both swing trading, long-term investing, and day trading. But I would rather you stick to long-term investing because your success is my success. If you do have a mindset, emotional issue with trading, you are not able to control size. That's number one. You are not able to control the numbers of trades you do for the day. You are not a bad person. It just means that you are a very type A person, very go-getter person, and that you have no patience, you have high emotional intelligence, and that day trading is not for you. But, Swing trading with the power indicator, long-term investing with the power indicator, and focusing on the easy stuff. My wife works all day long. She watches her portfolio once every month. Like literally, I tell my wife what to buy. Once a month, she checks her portfolio. She has no emotions. She plays the market cycle. So for your cycle, so she said, okay, if the cycle is up, and the feds are in our side. I'm going to use the tools. Look at your tools, weekly, monthly. By the way, some of my kids, the same, that have jobs. I have two kids working at KPMG. One of our daughters is going to work uh, at uh, Ecolabs. She's a, a, a biomedical mechanical engineer, right? So the kids are doing great. They don't have any uh, desire to day trade, but they want to fight inflation and they want their money to be better than 5% because we all know that true rate of inflation right now is 15, 20%. So if you put your money in a money market at 5%, yeah, it's safe, but it's not safe because you truly lose 10 to 15% per year because inflation is taking away from your buying power. So now you are aware of everything. Number one, mindset. Number two, to be successful, you need an edge. Obviously, I'm not going to hide. What I use personally is the power indicator. That's PPI. My age is the power indicator, you know, and my knowledge, obviously. You know, so knowledge, edge and knowledge, training. Yeah. 
You don't know anything. You don't know your tool on, in your toolbox. You don't know a call. You don't know a put. You don't know a credit spread. You don't know how to sell a cover call against your asset, sell a deep out of the money put to collect income, like a rental check for your assets. If you don't know how to do infinity banking, that's knowledge. So edge, knowledge, mindset, and the last, last one, right? To be a successful trader, everybody, you need capital. You don't need a lot of capital, but you need capital. And I think to trade SPY options and SPX, you need at least 5K to 30K. You don't need more, by the way. So let's say you are attending this event today and you are someone who has a net worth of $10 million. I would tell you the same. If you cannot show me with a five or $30,000 account that you can be profitable, why are you going to do a $10 million account? Stupid. It's like going at the gym and saying, hey, I want huge muscle, so I'm going to start bench pressing 225 pounds and get crushed. Yeah? Oh, you say, oh, I'm going to deadlift 400 pounds. Oh, I'm going to squat 300 pounds. That's not going to work. You are going to get crushed. Prove yourself gradually that you are able to make the hardest game in the world, which is day trading. By the way, this is the paradox of day trading. It's the fastest place in the world to make $1,000, and it's the fastest, fastest place in the world to lose $10,000. So you, you really need to be good at this. And you compete against the best trader in the world. You, you compete against the best algos in the world. Number two, you need to know, before I give you any tools, any mastery on the tools, your ratio. How many trades do you do per day? What's your numbers of winners and losers? What's your average loser? What's your average winner? That predicts your lifetime expectancy, everybody. Look here. I am serious. I'm using serious tools that give me real data, like a, a real business of what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. You know? Do you understand? I am not screwing around. I am not like coming with my finger in my mouth. I am a professional trader for 30 years, people. You are in the you you are blessed to be in this event tonight. Because you are going to learn for free stuff that people would have took you 10, 20 years to learn. Right? You don't know, but I know. So I'm I'm giving you a lot of goodness, and hopefully it will help you, and hopefully you will be on your journey to be successful at this. Okay? But it's not easy. And I repeat it again and again and again because I am the total opposite of the BS kids and gurus that are doing extremely well with the indicators that they've never traded real account with, that they have backtested. Oh, my indicators backtested to 10,000 trades. My indicator, power indicators, have been tested with real money, blood and tears for over 20 years. Over 20 years, we have put together tools that don't exist in the market at all. We have a pattern. Anybody coming with real-time probability and divisions of ranges, boom, we can sue them or force them for royalties because this is our intellectual property. It's very, very unique in the world. Now, when you day trade, especially options, you got to understand this quickly and then we'll get into the tools, I promise. But I want you to have the foundations of success. If you take a trade in an option. So let's say you take an SPY options because this is what I am specialized in. This is this is where I've made a lot of money in my life with SPY options. See, there's a lot of YouTubers that do SPY, SPY, but they've done shit with SPY. I have done SPY a lot of money, especially two years ago. I had a two, two, three years ago. I had an amazing year with SPY. So when there are options, that options goes to 50 cents. Even if you have one contract, it goes to 50 cents. The rate of return that it takes from where you are to where you need to go back to break even is not 50%. People have that all wrong. They say, oh, yeah, I lost 50%. But to go back at break even, I need a 100% rate of return. And I'll tell you something, it's not super easy to get 100% rate of return. Although on the SPY, 
if you know what you're doing, it happens a lot because those options are very sensitive with small amounts of money. And this is, I love small amounts of money. You know, a lot of people talk about small accounts, but they, they have no experience in small accounts. If one person has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to puke and put everybody combined in this room in SPY options experience, it's me. Like literally, you can go through a lot of my videos. I have a lot of experience taking small accounts, 5000 10, $10,000, $27,000, and I grow them up. And then I grow them up. I take the money away. I pay myself daily, and I put them where? Into the 90% asset pyramid. That has what? A moat here, asset protections, irrevocable, irrevocable trust, LLCs. So someone sues us, they cannot get anything because I have corporate veil protections. I don't own the asset. I control the asset. You know, Rockefeller, remember? Rockefeller, don't own anything, control everything. That's that's the principle of the trust, of the irrevocable trust. So there is stuff for wealth that you will never earn anywhere because nobody does it for you. So, you re-inject this money in your castle, in your impenetrable castle. People can come with 20 lawyers. They are going to waste their time, okay? And they are going to lose a lot of money because I can count your suit, right? And then on my personal side, you are poor. You want to be poor. You want to be poor. No home equity, no car, nothing. You own nothing. You are poor. They're poor. That's how the... Smart people does. And then in this castle, you have assets. And those assets, like the rich, I can pledge and collateralize those assets to get loans. 70% loans on those things. And I can show you also, if you're interested, you can join our funding group on SCOL. Look for Mark Nicholas, Funding Mastery. You can come. It's a free group where I share a lot of stuff like this that are life changing that I paid $500 an hour attorneys to help me. And then you grow, you grow this pyramid. So this little pyramid here, the day trading pyramid, to start in a good basis, because we know 90% of the day trader lose, number one. We know that big accounts don't work. It's all about asymmetrical risk, with small amounts, small amounts to make big amounts. Small amounts to make big amounts. Now, what type of risk ratio are we looking about? Well, I was discussing with you, but before we do that, why the small amounts? Okay? Why do we look at small amounts? Okay? This is trader one, small size. This is trader two, a little bigger, and this is number three, the DJ. Look what happened. He, he puts off a size and right away the trade goes against us. Boom, boom, boom. No bueno, the trade goes against us right away. Look at the angle and the suffering here. We all have been there suffering a big size and the angle. Look the break even point. The small size will be the first one to come back at break even because it never lose a lot, a lot of money. Do you see that? I want a yes from everybody. I want some participation here because I'm giving you gold and hopefully you appreciate. You know, this stuff should be on, on YouTube Live, really help a lot more people than what we are helping here on the small private group today of people interested in the power indicator. But you guys are the VIP first and the public will be second, I guess. So it is very important when you trade that you start with a small size. It's like you put your toes in the water because if it does not work, you are going to suffer a lot. But here's what happened. When I break even here and it starts working in my favor, this is where I size up. I add and add and add and add and add. Because it's like playing poker at this point, I like my assumption is validated. The tools are the power indicators are in my favor, right? 
The price action is proving I'm right. So now I am like a poker player that looks at this game and say, wow, I have a royal flush. Let's push the game because I add into winners. By the way, this philosophy works for day trading, swing trading, long-term investing, and this is beautiful gold that I'm sharing with you today. Now, the second concept that is very important in my research and, and everything I've done over the years is a lot of traders are misled by risking one to make one or risking two to make one. You know, this is very, very bad. Look here at the research. If you risk two to make one, two to one risk ratio, right? You are barely break even because that's, you know, barely, you know, and that doesn't even count commissions. So that's a break even scratch trader. That means in reality, you are never going to be a good day trader if you don't increase your risk ratio to three to one. And this event becomes really a mastery event in day trading step by step using the probability power indicator. Because now I look at the tools as I showed you at the beginning of this presentation and I look from where I am. Let's look here again at the indicator. Same as I was showing you on PayPal. Let's go back to the PayPal example. Where I am at 51 to where the edge is at 30. Let's look at this without BS on the replay from the lows. Where I am here to where the last stop is 31. From here, it's 52 to 51, right? It's 22 points on the downside, minus 22 points. From where I am, to the edge of the calculators, 308, or this edge to 14, and you see that I have, I have almost, right, a six to four to one ratio. Also, the premium tool probability power indicator will offer shows you my return on investment from where I am to where it can be is 368%. So I know everything. I know the probability. I know the return on investment from where I am. And I am able to establish the 3 to 1, 6 to 1. Same principle when you are going to be doing the day trading. It's just in day trading, instead of having the long-term investing uh, probability box, you are going to have the short-term probability box. So let's go to my day trading screen. By the way, I kind of simplified it so you can see it better. I really use seven charts here, look. See, this is more like this. This is more using the bonds, the nearest treasury, the VIX, the Dixie, the dollar index. And those three will help you for risk on, risk off. I'll explain that in our notes. Yes, right? I don't know why I have the yes twice, you know? But usually I have the Russell, the SPX, and this should be the NQ. So if I have all of that, and I specialize in trading ES, SPX, or the uh, uh, SPY options, I have everything that I need. I have all the charts that I need here to make great day trading decision. Same, I have the probability box will offer, but the look back period usually it's between one day to a month, depending on your settings, and I'll show you, right? How the sensitivity of the setting works. You have net seller, net buyer volume indicator. You have also the 27 zones if you want, major, minor, and institutional zones from the probability power indicator, and that's it. You have everything that you need and you have your probability box at the top. So, simplification, we're going to go to four, but remind me to five, but remind me for the notes that I will do, I will 
uh, discount. So as a matter of fact, let's do it now before I forget. Let's take the notes. So probability, power indicators, mastery of day trading, not step by step. Number one, this is day trading. All right, day trading in before I, I, I do day trades before the market open. They trade in time, 7 a.m. for me. I take stock between 7 a.m. and roughly 11 a.m. And sometimes I do a zero DT crush at 3.45, 3.45, 4.00. That's it. Everything else is shitty hours. Yeah. So at least you can dedicate your time properly and it's not. We're going to use the probability rule of fair, but this time you are going to use uh, a look back period. So you are going to use a couple of charts, three minute charts with volume indicator, with the power volume indicator for Med Bio Med Seller as well. That's the secret and it works only for the SPY, ES, and SPX. And I have to put it here. SPY, SPX, ES only. Three minute chart, look back period. One day, if it breaks the edges, adjust the setting to one week, you know, it's like a, a Russian doll. If it breaks to two weeks, if it breaks to one month, to always have reference points. Most of the time, it's going to stay be in the, it's going to stay, you know, within the boxes, probability power calculator real time, but you use the short term calculator this time. Short term calculator. With an eye, you still have to have an eye with an eye on the long term. So let's look here. Let's pull a one shot so you completely understand. Let's remove this. I want you completely focusing. Yes. Chart, three minutes. And here is the three minutes. You have the long term box. Now we need the short term box. So you are here. Make sure you check your short term box. And now you have your short term box. Most of the days are going to stay within the edge of the short term here, here, that creates one box for the day. And this box, this edge with this edge. Those are going to be most of the time your ranges for the day, which is box trading, range trading with probability. Now, a lot of times, Especially, I'm giving you a treat. A lot of time, a lot, a lot of time on the ES and SPY from this gray edge in the middle to this gray edge in the middle, even it's the 50% box, a lot of your day trading is going to happen here. A lot of your day trading is going to happen in this 50, 50% probability. Okay, guys, is it clear? I can show you day after day, after day, after day, after day, you know, and you can do the replay. 
And a lot of the days, maybe 70% of the days, when it's sideways, it stays within the gray box of the right calculator, of the short-term calculator. It's going to really, really work like this. So then you can do your, you can do also income trade sell, call credit spread here, sell put credit spread here. So you have this safety of margin or this buffer, okay? Knowing that most of the time it's going to stay in this room, okay? Uh, in addition to that, as I mentioned, my secret weapon for ES, SPY and everything that I do is this volume indicator. So let's pull the volume indicator, power volume indicator for ES, SPY, and SPX. And this is very powerful. It has support and resistance, and it gives you a lot of clues that the market don't give you. So today is a perfect example to show you. And you are going to say, holy shit, this is really interesting. Look here. We come and we go from up to sideways. That's the first warning here. We start having minor and major retail blocks selling the market at the top. Sell, buy on blue, sell on purple. They start selling on purple, but if you look at the day, from 7 a.m., 6 a.m. to about 1.30, this market does nothing. But look at the volume indicator. Net seller, net seller, net seller. Do you see the divergence? Give me a quick yes, no, because those are the little divergence that gives me a, a tremendous edge to the market, everybody. Look at this. Well, the market goes sideways and everybody's like, oh, the market, the feds are Dovich, FOMC. Yeah, let's buy, let's buy, let's buy. Let's buy, let's put all our credit card, our home, our mom, our brothers and sisters money into the market today, right? I see the warning here. Sell on purple, buy on blue, lower high volume indicator. That tells me, be careful. Of course, what would have been nice if you day trade is you look at the other synergy that I look at, which are the 10 year treasury, right? On the four hour chart, started to sell around 1 p.m. as well. So if I put a three minute chart, you'll see the same. Look at the treasury at 3 p.m. Boom, 1 p.m. or whatever. See, treasury started selling all morning. When the, 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 the bonds sell, the rates goes up. In an equal fashion, buy on blue, sell on purple, the VIX was touching blue support, which means buyers are coming at 12 VIX this morning with total complacency in the market, buy on blue, sell on purple, VIX is coming. So bonds going down, which means rates going up. If rates going up, it's bad for the market, right? It means defense, risk up. Same here, fear factor support, VIX up, fear going up, bad for the market. Another thing too, dollar up, buy on blue, means what? They buy defense, they buy the US dollar biggest currency, safest currency in the world. Which means at one point, this sideways crap is going to crack. And then most importantly, my secret weapon was already going down. The divergence was already happening. Do you see all the elements of the day trade on the downside this morning? Yes or no? Give me a quick yes now, because that's profound. Very, very profound. And so when you see that, you have all synergies to look as a trader where there is open interest and look at the 523s put and see how did the 523 put behave, right? Well, I can show you here this move from 11 a.m. on 
on the 523 put. And look what happened. This is how you make money with the indicator because the indicator shows you where the SPY is going. If the SPY is going and you start saying that we are going to go down, you buy here, this 523 put around 38 cents, 40 cents. It went all the way to $1.15. That's three times your money. So I know we love cryptos right now, but the SPY itself, that's three times your money, two times your money, double your money. Like literally 50% to two times, to three times, to five times your money happen every week almost on the SPY auction. Every week. Do you understand? Yes or no? Give me a quick yes or no because it's profound. And this is why I love SPY options. I like and I love SPX income. Because this is where the game is. Right? So what I'm showing you, like it's it's also an SPY course right there that we can refine. And I will do more videos on that, obviously. So look here. I have a three minute chart, two weeks look back period. You can see your look back period that you set up here. Go here on the gear and look on the intraday charts. What do you want? Do you want a one day look back period, a two weeks, one week? Well, I knew after this big move with the FOMC that it was time to look at two weeks look back period. And, and when we start breaking an edge, Go to a higher look back period so that your ranges are a little bigger, guys. Does that make sense? Give me a quick yes now because this is very, very profound. Very, very profound, right? Now, you look at my other time frame. I have a one month look back period on the four hour chart. I have a four hour chart, one month look back period here, and the 10 year treasury. I don't even know what I have because it just have to reset itself again, okay? By the way, when you have an error like this, you take the tools and you reload the tab and that reloads all your charts. Save and reload. What it does, it reloads everything. Alternatively, what you can do is you remove the, the indicator and you reinstall the indicator. It's just a cache or a network uh, uh, that they have to uh, touch with uh, trading you see like it's not coming back here so I'm going to take it out and let's see if I put it back here and roll up here and here it is okay and this is the one day so here it's a one day look back period sell on purple buy on blue but you can go here and say okay I want it uh, because it's a four hour chart two weeks look back period. So it gives you a little bit more of leeway of where we could go with the bonds for the next few days. Yeah? And it gives you also a better view. So you need to be very careful of your sensitivity. Most of our traders, when they day trade, they use the one day look back period. But as soon as your one day look back period is breached, go to the one week, right? Most of the time, by the way, 75% of the time, it's going to stay within the box. The box are super, super strong. But when it breaches the edge of the bottom of the calculator here, or yellow or yellow on the short-term trading, all the boxes here, then usually you have a continuation on the trade at 80%. 80% chance when they breach the edges, which is rare, there's a continuation of the trade. Write that down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write it down for you in the next step by step. Important, when any, okay, important. Typically, every price action will stay within the boxes edges, 70 to 80% of the time. That's our experience with real money. But if the edges are breached and we close three five-minute candle above them, it's 
So 15 minutes for 15 minutes, three minute candles above them and they don't recross back in the box. You will have a 80% chance, this is very important by the way, of a continuation on the break on the break direction. Confirm with the power trend box. The power trend box is great because it will give you the alarm too, with the power trend box. Net seller, net buyer, net seller, oops. Net buyer trend. All right. This is very, very important. Plus, extend your sensitivity, sensitivity of the premium box rule of fur, of the premium rule of fur to the next, to the next box, aka from daily. To weekly, etc. Is that helpful, everybody? Yes or no? Because those are rare case scenario, but when they happen, you're like, what the F am I supposed to do? Are you clear now? Give me some yeses. If not, if not, keep on reading, practicing, reading, practicing. Because the rules are very, very clear. Just read even my French English, read it 20 times. Okay, so we talk about the probability calculator, short term, here, on the long term power indicator, activate the red line. Now let's talk about something else. Activate the red line institutional zones plus major and minor if no reference points available. So let's go to this available plus power open. So the power, the open prices are critical. It's a balance point for the market. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, let me show you. You here, let's take the one shot. You're here and you're like, okay, Mark, this is 53.22, this is 52.70. That's 50 points on the year. That's huge, Mark. Do I have other reference points that I can look to trade my years properly? Well, the answer is yes. Go to your probability power indicators here. Go to the gear and now you open, you can go to the gear and now you can choose. Show the institutional zones, which are the red zone, the most important, the major and the minor, all of them. And then get the cloud out and do the power targets available and the power open below 30 minute charts and boom. And now you have everything. You have everything. So let me show you with the pen. Number one, power open are those yellow dash. That's 9.30, ding, ding, ding. That's the balance price from the institutional clients and the professionals. Being above that price is a positive signal for the market to go up. Be being below that price is a negative signal for the market. And that's what happened today, by the way. Every day, look at that signal. We have very specific formation that we teach in our mastery program. If one day you join the small elite group from day trading zones, I get about, what, 60 guys under my wing that I trade for one year train for one year on the day trading zones mentorship program. And that's something that I probably will not do in the next few years, but we have a couple of years still. So you have the open price. Then you have the institutional zones as reference. As you see, the institutional zones are aligned with the uh, edge of this one. So it's not very helpful. Then you have the minor zone. Then you have the major zone. So yeah, you have reference points everywhere everywhere. You have the division of firm, 
which is your box, your short-term box, you have your long-term box, and you have the zones. But most of the time, you're going to day trade like this. You're not going to look really at your, at your long-term. It's going to be, you are a day trader, and you are there to trade the one-day look-back period. So if I go back here, most of my guys trade the uh, look-back period of one day, but then switch to the one week and up, if it's, a, and see, now they have the calculator, they come in the morning, they know the top, they know the bottom, and they have two box for the day. So traders comes in the morning, they know it's going to be like this, box number one, then like this, box number two. We look at the open price, are we above or below? We look at the directions of the power volume indicator and you have everything that you need. Plus you have here, do you have the fuel up and down in your favor, up or down, net buyer, net seller. And by the way, a lot of those tools, you can do sound alert on your phone and on your PC so you don't have to stare the screen. But I want to do an alert here. I do the plus sign and I can do an alert by dropping this and do an alert by the premium box calculator and say alert me each time we are touching this high boundary line, this low boundary line, or any top or bottom boundary line. And you set the alert once per bar and boom. So as soon as it rings, you have something going on. You don't have to watch it all day long in between. Another alert you can do is, hey, I want to know with the probability trend box when the box are changing. So each time there's any change in the box, you create a sound alert. Each time this is going to go from blue to sideways or sideways back down to purple, you'll have some alert, okay? So I hope this event was helpful. Was that helpful, everybody? Yes or no? Give me some feedback. Uh, if you have questions, I'll be glad to answer them. This is now your time. We've gone over an hour on this, but I hope this is was helpful. Um, again, I want to add into the notes all, always here. I use to trade ES, SPY, SPX only, and always look, always look, at the DXY, VIX, Dixie, and power volume indicator relationship. That gives me a huge edge, power indicators. Sorry, power volume indicators, yes. Huge, huge edge. To my trading okay uh i recommend you take a picture you know of this you know take a picture right now and we'll try to send you the stuff because i've not even sent yet the one on the long-term calculator right so uh, i want that saved and we'll send you hopefully the uh, pdf on both everyone but this is very helpful you know and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Stay tuned for our day trading zones daily video. It's almost daily videos on the analysis. If you miss the uh, Wealth Wednesdays, ideally you want an edge to trade, to invest, come on the Wealth Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. Don't miss them because then you have to wait. Some of the cuts don't come seven days after that. Uh, let's get going. So. Did you do a real life review of Atom and WBD? Was it with each other or not? Take a screenshot right now, Sonny. Take a screenshot. Okay. Chris, that was helpful. Glad it helped. Charles, glad it helps. Henri, it's good to see you. Bonjour. Glad it helps. Travis, good to see you guys. Yeah, that's my guys. Some people have been in our ecosystem for 10 years, communities and stuff. Also, if you are interested in the funding and the wealth, the other wealth stuff that we do, 
go into the score group here, right? And look for Mark Nicholas here. Okay, this is our funding group here. Let me see how I can share. Maybe I can share the link here if you're interested. It's free. You know, we do free event every month on uh, uh, tax efficiency, asset protections, funding, buying business, selling businesses, you know, where you redeploy your assets besides the stock market. Okay. I love you all, everybody. And we will go and look at your example. Sammy, come in the live room and we'll do the, the, the review together. And also let me know when you come in the US, my friend. Okay. Take care, everybody. Love you all. You have a nice evening. And I hope it was helpful. Take care.